Now, disgruntled parents and candidates thronged the Kenya National Examination Council's Mitiani House headquarters in Nairobi Sunday to protest the alleged irregular awarding of the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Examination results. The group has in the meantime called for the suspension of Monday's launch of the Form 1 placement exercise until their grievances are addressed. A day after Kenya National Examination Council admitted having awarded 133 candidates wrong marks in this year's KCPE exam, more complainants have emerged to question the examination's integrity. On Sunday, a section of parents and the affected candidates from a private school in Kitengela were at Mitihani House to air the grievances. I believe that this is sincerely an injustice to the children of Kitangela International, as I'm holding in the placard, and also to the children, other children in this nation who are also aggrieved and might not be able to come here. So as we have started this initiative, I believe that justice should be accorded to our children. Here the accused neck of dishonesty, while at the same time demanding that Monday's planned launch of form and placement be stopped failure to which they will seek legal redress. We want some definite answers. I know they are talking about 21 days, 30 days. The selection is tomorrow. How will these guys get justice if we get the letter in 21 days? And for records, we are going to pursue all avenues, all legal avenues that are required. Their quest to be addressed by next CEO David Njigere proved futile. Officials from the council headquarters disputed claims that the CEO was holding a crisis meeting at Mitihani House. In a statement on Saturday, NEC issued a one-month period to all those aggrieved by the results to officially present their appeals. The issue of marks, we noticed when we, we checked on science, all of them scored between 55 and 56 marks. It was 54, 55, 56. Then it is repeated again, 54, 55, 56. I think that is not, it's not just a coincidence. For Sunday Express, I'm Joseph Wahungu.